Hey everybody, I just want to give you a few tips on what I did to seal the roof on our new free camper. Uh, now of course I'm showing you the inside here, it's popped up, I'm not going to be able to get up on top of the roof, uh, but I've got some great video that my wife shot of us actually um, using the flex seal on it uh, and the great job that it did. Uh, when we first got it, uh, we got it for free because uh, the people that had it before did not fix a leak that was right here around the fan um, and water had gotten in it and there was mold and mildew all over the inside of this camper. Um, there's another video that we made that shows how we removed all the mildew stains because let me tell you the whole inside of this was just full of black splotches all over it. It was bad. Um, and we use Miracle Mist to clean that, but that's uh, a whole nother video. I could put a link up here for it. Um, we also decided to just go ahead and seal the whole roof while we were fixing that leak. So uh, we scraped up all the old caulking around there and I used ProFlex RV um, to seal all the, uh, all the cracks and all around the edges of it. And then I used the Flex Seal paint to do the whole top of the roof and let me tell you amazing uh, the job that it has done up there and we've already gone camping a couple times we've also experienced some pretty significant rainstorms and not a single drop of water has gotten inside here so I will uh, finish this by putting in all the videos that we took while we were painting it um, I'll also do a little little talking kind of explaining as we go along but uh, thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're going to continue to put videos up about our camper and, uh, and pool tips and things of that nature. So I appreciate you all. Have a great day. A couple of before pictures to show you how bad it was. And then we'll get right into the process of putting on the Flex Seal paint. As you can see here, this is already pretty far into it. Um, the color's fantastic. It rolls on fairly easily actually. Um, I just used a roller and literally poured the flex seal into um, right onto the roof a couple sections at a time. Just rolled it out till it was nice and smooth uh, and then just moved on from there. Uh, on the edges and you'll see later on I actually do use a brush um, to get it into the cracks and crevices. But here you can see already uh, just a tremendous difference. We did wash the roof. We scrubbed it pretty well before uh, we started applying the flex seal uh, and obviously we had used um, the RV seal caulking on the edges there. Um, I'm definitely not a professional so it wasn't perfect looking. Um, and these corner braces here, uh, these are a couple of them are cracked so I'm gonna wind up replacing them but for now I just flex sealed right over those uh, and it seems to work fine. Uh, again we went through several rainstorms when we were out camping. Not a drop of water got in. Everything's perfectly dry. Um, and it just, it looks so much better. I mean, it was just embarrassingly bad. Um, this stuff's not cheap. I mean, it's $100 for that gallon that I'm holding in my hands. But um, it, it's well worth its weight in, in what it did for a difference for the roof. Um, and here you can see um, on the front using the brush again. And you'll see uh, there's a spot here where I'd done the caulking, and there's almost like a little bit of space between the caulking and the roof um, where it just had pulled back a little. So I just took a little extra time, put a little extra Flex Seal paint in there, and you can see that fills right in. Uh, and it's been a few weeks now, sitting out in the sun. It's been searing hot outside, um, and this stuff has not uh, retracted or, or cracked or anything. It is perfect. Um, one thing that we do have to work on is uh, we discovered that the roof is definitely bowed in a little bit uh, and that's because the people that had it before us let a bunch of snow sit on it, kind of collapse the roof, so I'll probably be doing a video on fixing that. Uh, but this portion here I wanted to put in because it's a really good depiction of the before and after as we were doing it. You can see um, it's almost immediate the difference of, of how much better it looks. Um, it's sealed. As I mentioned, there is no water. Uh, any little cracks were completely filled in. I'm definitely very happy with it. I did see in another video after this uh, that somebody had used Flex Seal on it, and they actually used a plastic paint scraper to kind of spread the Flex Seal out. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Uh, and here around this vent, you can see we had sealed it off here with that caulking. Uh, again, not the prettiest job, but it's up on the roof. Uh, so overall, I would definitely recommend using it. And uh, happy camping, everybody.